Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, there is a video that emerged online where organized goons were captured on camera throwing stones at Kiambu Senator Kimani Wamatangi, who is running for the governor of Kiambu County on UDA ticket. And behind Senator Kimani Wamatangi, there was Moses Kuria, who again came in with his vehicle. At the same time, Moses Kuria was celebrating while Kimani Wamatangi was being chased from the town like Amburukenge. Watch this video shortly and after this we want to understand the behavior of Moses Kuria and the emerging division in Kenya Kwanzaa. Continue with the final discussion, but just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you have not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that another time, once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone who wrote comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, yesterday we got a chance to analyze a story about Moses Kuria on this punchline. And it was clear there is a sharp division be between Moses Kuria and uh, Kimani Wamatangi. And uh, for those who have been following Moses Kuria closely, you are left with no any doubt that the goons who stoned Kimani Wamatangi were definitely organized and paid by Moses Kuria to Ashem Kimani Wamatangi in the town. That's why you see they are chasing Kimani Wamatangi like Amburukenge in the town. Right in Kiambu County. And uh, it is clear from the time when Infotruck conducted an opinion poll in Kiambu County, whereby the rating was showing that the race in Kiambu is between James Nyoro, William Kabogo, and Kimani Wamatangi. Moses Kuria was tra trailing behind with just 5%. But those three individuals are the ones you need to watch as far as Kiambu race is concerned. You will get your governor in Kiambu from these three individuals. Kimani Wamatangi, James Nyoro, the current governor, and the former governor, William Kabogo. Moses Kuria was not happy about that. And remember, Kabogo withdrew his support from Kenya Kwanzaa and is on his own. <laughs> but Moses Kuria is still in Kenya Kwanzaa. For him, he thought that working with William Ruto, it is going to help him to propel his candidature. And, and with popularity he has had in Kiambu County, he thought he can easily become the governor. But Kuria is meeting the reality. He is now facing the reality on the ground. He has no chance, no space in Kiambu County as far as governorship is concerned. Maybe if he's looking for another position. And these are some of the reasons why Moses Kuria was trying to paint Kimani Wamatangi as an outsider who just came in to get the Kiambu seat and not a supporter of William Samuel Ruto. He simply said that Kimani Wamatangi only came in just as an opportunistic person. 
But that's why Moses Kuda was saying that Kimani Wamatangi is still a whip in the Senate. Remember that position was given to Senator Irungu Kangata. But when he started working with William Samai Ruto, the president removed him quickly and they replaced him with Kimani Wamatangi. Moses Kuda was trying to explain how anyone who has been supporting William Samai Ruto was kicked from all the leadership positions they were holding at maybe in the National Assembly or at the Senate. But Kimani Wamatangi was still standing there. Meaning, Kuda was telling William Samai Ruto that Kimani Wamatangi is in UDA party as a mall. He's only here to win an election and to leak the Kenakwanza plan to President Uhuru Kenyatta. So that means Kemani Wamatangi is Uhuru Kenyatta's person. To some extent, Kuria could be right. Because Kemani Wamatangi was never removed as a leader in the Senate when he jumped. And remember, he joined the UDA party to the late end. Why was Kemani Wamatangi doing that? And why is it that President Uhuru Kenyatta has had no end problem with Kemani Wamatangi? And even if you look on how Kimani Wamatangi is doing his campaign, Wamatangi has no problem with President Uhuru Kenyatta. He is simply campaigning on his manifesto. In fact, he is one of the best candidates in Kiambu who has a manifesto that is selling to the public. And for him, he is focusing to sell his manifesto to the electorate, but not to, com to, to campaign on uh, divisive politics of naming people or using, you know, abusive language to uh, towards maybe the president or other leaders in Kiambu so that he can maybe become popular. He's not campaigning on those issues. So, in as much Moses Kuda was trying to expose Kimani Omatangi, seemingly it's like there's no one in UDA party that is buying into that issue. William Ruto is not listening to that. Regarding the Gashagwa has no chance to listen into those issues. And therefore, for them, they are focusing on any candidate who is going to deliver the Kiambu seat to UDA party. They don't care. That's what they want. And the Kuria has discovered this. Because of that, that's why to some extent Kuria is going to a level of organizing goons. To stone Kimani Wamatangi. Remember also Kure was complaining that all the UDA as candidates and the supporters were called off to withdraw their support and involvement in Moses Kuria's campaign. Because Kuria has been campaigning for almost a week in Kiambu County from one constituency to another. But no one from UDA side was joining William Ruto, not even someone running for MCS seat. Remember, Kuria is running for the governor. That means he needs some MCS walking around in the county with him so that he will be endorsing this MCA as the MCA help him to campaign. But no one in the UDA party was accompanying Moses Kuria. So Kuria was angry about that issue. And that's why he was complaining that what were UDA were Megoma, they have withdrawn their support and they don't want to you know, be involved with anything to do with Moses Kuria or Mekata. I don't know which step Moses Kuria was going to take. Because for another person, you will think to go on your own way like what William Kabogo did. But Moses Kuria is still there. <laughs> I'm a Kua Kamandama. He's still holding to William Ruto in as much there is telltale signs. Very clear that they don't need Moses Kuria, but they still hold and hang on Judie, Kenya Kwanza, and then William Ruto. Now, if it was the wish of President Huru Kenyatta to select who should become the governor of Kiambu County, I know that the president has no problem between Dean De James Nyoro. William Kabogo and Kimani Wamatangi becoming the governor of Kiambu. But he has all the problems to do with Moses Kuria in case Kuria can become the governor of Kiambu.
And remember Kiambu is cosmopolitan and Kiambu means a lot. Kiambu is like, you know, in terms of resources, Kiambu is so much rich. Almost to Nairobi. It, in fact, it comes second after Nairobi. And because of that, President Urukanata would need a serious person in Kiambu County. That's why you see Uhuru has no problem with the Kimani Omatangi. For example, if James Nyoro cannot win this seat, then Kimani Omatangi gets a chance to, to, to lead, Uhuru has no problem. Because Kimani Omatangi is a man whom he has worked with. But with Moses Kuria, Uhuru has worked with Moses Kuria. And what has just happened with Moses Kuria? How could I turn against President Uhuru Kenyatta? It is also a warning to William Samuel Ruto. Uhuru picked Moses Kuria from nowhere. And he single-handedly campaigned for Moses Kuria to become a member of parliament for Gatun. What happened? Kuria has turned into an enemy of President Uhuru Kenyatta. Kuria has used every manner of words to describe President Uhuru Kenyatta in negative way. Nothing positive about President Uhuru Kenyatta in Moses Kuria's vocabulary. He has turned to be an enemy of President Uhuru Kenyatta. And this could be also a warning for William Ruto that trust Moses Kuria at your own risk. Because he has shown that he can never have a friend. Even if Moses Kuria had his own difference with President Uhuru Kenyatta, he could not go to an extent on how he described the president. There is a limit he could get to. Yes, it's not a must that Kuria had to work with President Uhuru Kenyatta. He could have changed and taken a different direction, but the respect could have stayed. Kuria has no friend. And it is clear. That's could, that could be one of the reasons why even Kiambu is rejecting Moses Kuria. And that could be the reason why even UDA party is not comfortable with Moses Kuria. In fact, they thought Moses Kuria is popular. But now it is turning out to show the other side of Moses Kuria. <laughs> he, is no, he is no longer popular the way people thought like. And this could be the reason why Kuria is turning into violent. He wants to make sure that in as much as not winning, he's also causing more harm to Kimani Wamatangi. So that it will be seen as Kimani Wamatangi is not acceptable or welcomed in Kiambu County. So could I want to go down with everyone in Kenya Kwanza? So that Kimani can lose as long as he's losing. And it will remain between maybe William Kabogo and James Nyoro. I do not think about this. But that's my view. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me of this family. Good God bless you. See you in our next video. But please let us meet in the comment section to have a coordination of this conversation because I want to read your view as far as this issue is concerned.